I received this! What's in here is actually very geeky and probably not that interesting. But before I can take a look at that, I first need to do some mixing. Actually, a lot of mixing. Actually, a very big project. <laughs> So what happened is that um, um, two um, pieces of uh, gear actually were sent to me and um, I'm seeing some kind of a combination uh, with these two pieces, which is something I really want to try out. It doesn't make a lot of sense talking about it. I can better just show it. So this is the um, less interesting package, more nerdy package. So, the people from Cranbourne Audio sent me the Cast CAST uh, intro bundle. And what uh, CAST or Cast is, is basically uh, transporting audio line level, I think. I hope mic level, because that's the plan that I have, over CAT cable, so ethernet cable basically. And the benefit of doing it that way is that it's super cheap and those cables are very abundant, like, like you can find them basically everywhere. And in this starter bundle um, there are three units and some ethernet cable as well, that's cool. Which is uh, this box that basically uh, splits 8 in 8 out into those ethernet cables and how I think it works actually in one cable you've got two inputs and two outputs so you can basically wire a stereo piece of outboard with just an ethernet uh, cable which is really cool so now I need a, a four channel multi cable and I can just do it with one ethernet cable or cat cable is the uh, correct uh, way of saying it however what would be even cooler is if that connector would already be on the equipment because that makes a lot of sense because if i would now need to do it i, I need to make so many jumps from one wire to the other to something else to something else and also my gear is already cabled with multi cables um, so it does make a lot of sense to upgrade it but there is a specific cable run that I can make with this. So this box has the uh, uh, Ethernet ports on this side. I don't know actually if you can daisy chain them. That would be even cooler if you can daisy chain them. Uh, and has two outputs and two inputs on uh, this side. Uh, these ones are probably just cold wire to the other. And the last box in here is this one. Oh, I'm, I'm damaging the packaging. I don't know if I need to send this back. I made a deal with them that if I could implement them somewhere in my studio, I could keep it. But if I couldn't, then I have to send it back. So I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, and this box uh, is a bit more special. It has two inputs and it has a headphone uh, output, which is great, uh, for instance, in a vocal booth or something. And again, on this side, you're going in there with um, either a 9 volt battery uh, or a fixed power supply. And also the Ethernet uh, connectors are over here cat connector over here it's not ethernet it's cat and also you can you can screw it on a mic stand very well thought out these things very well thought out what i want to do with this what i want to try out with this is not use it necessarily for the audio routing in here again it's it's already done oh yeah and another thing that would have been an issue is connecting it to my uh, patch base because i then have to solder cable that is actually not made to solder i mean i think i can get it fixed but Anyway, don't want to use that. I actually want to use it for the video side of the business. So being able to route the signals that I use for the videos uh, throughout the studio. One of the things that I would love to do is connect a proper preamp to the microphone that I'm using in, uh, in, in right now uh, and already include the compression and stuff uh, in there and and literally I didn't I didn't request this it this these were literally two separate emails that came in in the same week I do believe in 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 the fact that uh, things are meant to be uh, for reasons so who knows maybe the universe was playing with this but um, uh, Gain Lab Audio sent me uh, another one of their um, products but in here and I think if you know the lineup from game like you could have already guessed this ah, ah, luxurious problems ah, getting tired of difficult unboxings in here is the yeah here we go Bishop 
Bishop is a, uh, what is it actually? I didn't read about it yet. Uh, it's a channel strip as far as I know. So we got our mic input here. We also have a mic input on the back, so that's good. We got a mic input here. Uh, oh yeah, and we could choose here, so that's cool. So I can also use it with a separate ga cable running here. We've got our uh, preamp gain, our drive, our, uh, and over here we've got threshold, a second slope, character, Output attenuation, like everything, optical compression, whatever. I'm going to look into this, but uh, basically very cool uh, channel strip uh, preamp uh, uh, thing. And what I was thinking uh, is that if I would use, uh, for instance, this box and would tape it to my camera stand in some way, send the outputs of this to my camera, plug in my microphone on the input. But I don't know if this actually supports microphone signals, so maybe this plan could be stupid and then just plug an ethernet cable in in the camera stand and then on the other side use uh, i don't know this box yeah this box because this box also has outputs and inputs and connect this one to the bishop so that i have a proper mic pre and stuff and just send line level signal uh, back to the camera and thinking even further I can make these boxes throughout the studio on different places where I can just plug in uh, my camera and my mic and that kind of stuff and then if I also need to slave audio from the DAW or something I might be able to plug that in here and also send it somewhere as a sync signal or maybe as a recorded signal but these type of uh, solutions give a lot of possibilities and I'm happy to explore them all because in the end these type of setups can make things so much easier. It's whenever I can lower the threshold for video productions, uh, I probably will do it. So yeah, really excited to listen to this thing by the way. It, it would really be cool to finally have a proper preamp because I've been using built-in preamps on the interfaces and on the camera uh, ever since. I do have the Illusia ones as well so it probably would be cool to do a shootout between the two because maybe the Illusia ones are better uh, than this one on my voice. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> And now it's time to, to finish the mix that I started on Monday, or at least, you know, get everything in there. And then uh, next week I'll get back to it and really do like overview, clean, ice, dry, run, whatever, to really finish everything. What's really cool about this song is that it starts really small. The song is about uh, a panic attack. And um, I know how those work. <laughs> Don't ask me why I know, but I know how those work. Um, and it starts really small. It starts with a trigger and it slowly builds up within yourself and it ends up huge. And that's also what's happening in this song. Like it's, so the song starts over here, really small. Then you start with a typewriter and in the end, it's like everything, a guitars, a synthesizers, an orchestra, and the last part even has wind instruments in it. So like the whole, the whole shebang on wind, wind instruments. I've been like for the, um, for the ending, I've been inspired by the song or it's yeah, by the movie score from first man. First man is about a uh, new Armstrong, the first man on the moon. And the, the, the music in there is, oh, it's so good. And the score during the landing also has that build up in there and then all of a sudden there's wind instruments coming in there and those are like so cool process like like a bit distorted a bit crackly very strong and i'm doing that in this song as well i'm doing that actually with the character from illusia because it's really that that character that i was looking for that really comes out of that uh, that illusia gear i don't know where i wanted to go with the story but i'm just very enthusiastic about my interpretation of the of the build up of that whole strong part at the end and then and then all of a sudden the song stops which is also true with for panic attack yeah anyway i'm um i still i still do need to, to do a lot of work actually in this song like there's a lot of um uh, one of the things that was happening is that um there is a whisper channel in there 
And what I've noticed was that the whisper channel was not cut properly. So all the channels have been cleaned up, but the whisper channel was not cut. Like I, I could hear a breathing in there. And I asked the artist like, hey, is this, uh, is this intentional or not? And she said, yes, it, this is really intentional because the breathing gets heavier throughout the song. Nice details. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to place this in the mix and stuff because it is a lot. Yeah, I'm excited to finish this. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. All right, all right, all right, all right. So the mixing is done. I did so much stuff. This is so, such an interesting mix again. Like literally every track that I'm mixing, even if it's the most basic track, I enjoy it so much. I think from all the activities that, I, that I'm doing in the studio, I think I enjoy mixing the most. Like it's such a creative outlet and also such a relaxing job to do, for me at least. I can imagine that mixing is very stressful for a lot of people, but I just, mm, it's just so good. Uh, however, I have to stop now uh, with the mixing and I'm very happy at the place that the mix is in. I'm going to pick this up after the weekend because first of all, I don't want my ears to get spoiled too much with this mix. And second of all, I need to do a little bit of video editing still and uh, i have two calls uh, scheduled so uh, i also need to to have those two calls they are literally scheduled when one ends the next one starts so yeah and after that it's weekend